Hi everybody, it's Marcus Collins and Danny Fleming from MA Properties for another virtual open house. As you can see, I'm in the office. Danny is at 17 Colony Road in Lexington. Stunning contemporary, actually a mix of contemporary and traditional in this house. It's five bedrooms, six and a half baths, five to four, six square feet. And so over to Danny. Hey Marcus, thank you for that introduction. Yes, we're here at 17 Colony Road in Lexington in an awesome location, Merriam Hill, one of the best locations in Lexington. You can't really beat it. Um, this home and this area is just stunning. So I'm here to do a virtual open house and what a virtual open house is all about is I'm going to pretend, because we're not doing open houses anymore, I'm going to pretend I'm here at an open house and you can see, you know, I'll open closets, I'll open cabinets, I'll open all sorts of things to show you the sorts of things that we don't normally show on the 3D tour or the video or all those sorts of things. So let's get going and I'll take you inside. We are on a really quiet street. If I'm just, if I just stop, look, you can't hear anything. It is just stunning. And the home is beautiful. As you can sort of see, it was, it was uh, in its original iteration. It was a center entrance, um, you know, a colonial type home. Um, it's had an extension. It was an architect designed extension um, where you can see right from the back as we're going up here and above the, the garage and everything. I believe that was all done in one iteration. I would need to check if you if that's important to you let uh, let me know and I will go and double check and find out specifics with that. So we're coming up to the front door and see how you can see, you know, what was the back of the old part of the home then. You've got beautiful blue stone hardscaping. Um, can't see much of it because there's snow around. <laughs> but but um, you've got beautiful pergola. You've got some, uh, some stunning sort of wire that will run across there that if you wanted to plant some uh, vines and hang some baskets this is perfect for it and you have a french door into the living room um, there's multiple areas in this home for living um, so let's get you in and show you i'm going into this entry foyer here i'm going to take my shoes off now I believe, I'm only guessing here, but this looks like it's a tumbled marble tile. This is what typically we see in tumbled marble. And you've got a huge, big, huge, big coat closet for your guests. And we have another door heading in. So, oh look at what you sorry i don't want to let the, the cold air come in it's beautiful and warm in here we want to keep it warm it's lovely so you've got so many different living spaces here but it's all open plan and just feels so warm and inviting um it, it really does. You've got the dining room and you've got another living room over, a living area over there. You've got a family room here. You've got another living room around the, the corner. But this, you know when you, we talk about um, a kitchen being the heart of the home? Guess what? This kitchen is the heart of the home. Um, and beautiful um, cabinetry. You've got a sub-zero fridge and freezer, stainless steel, uh, granite countertops. You've got uh, a breakfast bar island, 
um, you know, a nice space. I could just, you know, with seating for six. So you can imagine having friends over when we're allowed to do that again, um, having friends over and all just hanging out and uh, and just enjoying, um, you know, the company while uh, while dinner's on. And you have the downstairs heads over there look at the backyard though you can't see it with so much snow on the ground but there's a patio out here and the lot heads it's it's just such a a nice grassed area um it's and it's so private um we have double french doors going out to the patio and we have um but Marcus will uh, point you out where you can find more information about the home. Um, but you'll see we have photos that we took in fall of last year, I believe fall or spring. Anyway, you've got a wood burning fireplace here. And look, you know, you can have the fire going and you can be talking to whoever's in the kitchen. I'm not going to get sexist. Whoever's in the kitchen cooking, um, you know, they're part of the whole, part of just everyday life, which is just awesome. Um, and I will start opening cabinets and things like this. Let me just show you this wing first, and then I'll come back into the kitchen and I'll start opening things in there. But if we're talking about here, we have two sets of, we've got the drawers here and oh sorry and shelving there and then the opposite side we've got exactly the same thing and there's a mini split system there um, we also have hot water radiators you can see the hot water radiators there but you've got mini split to supplement um, that does heat and cool now here is where you're at the front entry there Look at the picture windows here. This is, there's so much light in this house with all of these windows. And you've got another French door out to the side there and some more shelving here. And look, so much light coming in. Um, I love this, I love this lamp. Um, anyway, so here's where you would come in from the garage let me head down there first we've got the master suite above the garage so i'll do the master suite in a second so you've got stone tile flooring here and some shelving there and in here we have the garage this is a huge garage when you look at it, it's so deep. Lots of really organized um, shelving. Lots, of, you can just be very, very organized here. And we've got in here, there's, there's some of the, now where do I turn the line? There's a um, instant hot water there. Um, hard to see. I don't know where the light is. Maybe it's this one that oh there's the light okay so you've got an instant hot water there and you've got all the all the uh, radiant heat and all of that sort of stuff that's there okay I'll turn that off and here you've got another sub panel okay let's head inside now oh the phone's going that's not for me I know it's not for me <laughs> so now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you the master suite, which is this way. Okay. All right, coming up here. Lots of light in this stairwell. And look at this. You've got lots of, I don't know about you, but... I like to have lots of books and knickknacks and photos and all of those sorts of things. And this is perfect. So in here, I'll show you the bathroom in a sec. But you've got a nice little office area there. I tell you what, in today's time of where we are, 
the more office areas we can have, brilliant. Um, now here, you've got two sets of double closets and two sets of double closets. Let me just show you. Okay, here's one. Okay, and you can be sure that the other one on that side is the same. Let me go over and have a look at this one. Oh, and I need to show you the ceiling too. Okay. Okay, so again, a nice closet there. And you've got lots of um, windows, the hot water radiators. This is a king size bed. This shows you how big this room is. This is a king size bed with two side tables, plenty of space still. And have a look up here. Doesn't that feel amazing? That just feels amazing. Um, it gives such a feeling of airiness. Um, you have a washer and dryer here. That's perfect. Exactly, you know, I, I, I don't know about you, but I get tired of taking my clothes to the washer and dryer. It would just be awesome to have it here. Here's your bathroom. Now, I believe, not sure whether these are marble floor tiles or ceramic floor tiles. So I don't want to say they are because I don't know. But here's your bathroom, the, the toilet part of the bathroom. And we have the shower there. And look at this. We have some marble um, vanities. Uh, um, the um, wall mounted vanities with mirrors and some nice light fixtures. And you've got a bidet here as well. And a jacuzzi. So this is just really lovely. Okay, and look at the views if you wanted to be have a view while you were in the bathroom. But this is these these are really really nicely done. Okay, so now I'm going to go and show you the other wing of the home. Oh, and I'm going to open up kitchen cabinets and show you more about the kitchen. That's what I promised to do. Okay, so. From this direction, you have some glass-fronted uppers. And over here, you've got some glass-fronted uppers. And you've got um, this sort of, this would, be, this would be brilliant for, um, you know, Christmas or Thanksgiving or something like that, where you can be placing all of your buffet-type style things there. You could also use this and head into the dining room. But here's your drawers. Okay, oops. And drawers. Oh, that's that's awesome for trays. And here's another one for dog treats and food. Okay. So you get the picture of what's in there, and then you've got your glass-fronted cabinetry. Okay. All right. And let's come around this side. Um, you've got the, it, this looks like it's a con convection microwave, I believe. That's what it seems to say there. And we've got an oven in there. And you've got cabinetry there. You've got another side uh, thing, perfect actually, for pulling things out of the oven and popping them um, there or pulling things out of the fridge and popping them there. Uh, you've got some glass fronted uppers and let's have a look in here. There's lots of, lots of stuff. As you can tell, a lot of these drawers and things are just not full. So you've got your, your fridge. See, there's still someone who lives here. Um, they just keep it so immaculate, this home. Um, now, looking around here, and I'm going to show you the this sort of stuff. So here, 
you've got a trash and recycle uh, and you've got drawers drawers oh yeah drawers there you've got your uppers you've got a dishwasher um, here's you've got two sinks that's perfect because you've got big trays on one side and, and smaller washing items there so you've got that there you've got another trash here okay you've got more drawers okay okay lots of space in this kitchen um oh for cookbooks is there and you've got oh that's pretty handy okay sorry <laughs> that's a pretty good idea i can't i don't know about you all but my spice cabinet is almost impossible to find anything in because the things that i want are always right at the back um okay are you getting the picture that there's lots and lots of cabinetry? Um, so there's, you've got a Lazy Susan. And here, oh, I think that's probably, I think that's probably the, um, the, uh, the, the, the pots and pans. Yep, that's, that's right, because it makes, it's logical that you've got it underneath there. And you've got some wine areas there. Um, here's your gas um, cooktop and you've got uh, one of those um, drop-down um, fans. Now, here, I'll come back to that, I think. Um, you've got the stairs going down and in here, look at this for a dining room. This is amazing. It's huge. It's huge. And you know, you could, I could just imagine, I, I'm not musical, so I could just imagine having a couple of um, sofas, love seats there and pre and post dinner drinks area. Um, and then sort of migrate to the table. And look at the, it almost doesn't look like you've even got a window there. This is very nice. Um, lots of light coming in and I'll show you those when we're upstairs. But you've got a sky, oh no, it's not a skylight, it's just an upper window. And a nice, uh, a nice um, brick, brick um, wall there. Okay, and you've got, you've got high velocity um, uh, AC coming there, I believe and bookshelves built-in bookshelves book built-in bookshelves built-in bookshelves built-in bookshelves hot water radiators you've got a nice uh, wood burning fireplace oh i love the um i love that <laughs> oh my goodness if you're going to have a, a an animal head mounted on the wall to have a fake one that's pretty is really nice oh yeah that's really cool I love that um, it's whimsical anyway so here um, we've got this living room family room type area here and you've also got this informal informal dining room here as well because there's the kitchen um, there's so many spaces here and you've got another door that heads outside Okay, and there, oh, look, you can see what the, um, the patio is because you can see it underneath the table there. Okay, and there we go there. Um, I will go downstairs first and then I'll go upstairs to the other bedroom wing. Um, I know I'm sort of doing it in a disjointed way, but it'll, it'll make sense. It just makes sense to, to show you in this order. Okay, so you've got a half bath here. Okay, and then we head down to the amazing basement, finished basement. Um, I'll show you the utilities last. So in here, you've got um, ceramic floor tiles and 
and you've also got a built-in projector and the screen. I can imagine some fun times just hanging out and watching, uh, watching movies, things like that there on Netflix. We're all, I wonder if it's a Netflix, whether you can watch Netflix on it or whether it's just uh, must, must be. Um, if you're curious about that part, let me know and I'll find out from the sellers exactly how it uh, operates. Um, but around here, we've got another large family room and still with the ceramic or porcelain floor tiles. And you've got a full bathroom here. There are so many bathrooms in this house. I think there's six and a half. So every bedroom has an attached bathroom. So if you were looking for that, you've come to the right place. Um, so here, again, this is kid heaven, office heaven. You know, we're all looking for more space to be able to work from home and, and do all of that sort of stuff. You've got so many areas in this house where this where it's just perfect. Um, now, in here, we just have a little storage room. And I think, I believe, the sellers told me that the those couple of window AC units, I think, are for supplemental air conditioning, I believe, in the master suite. Um, in here, you've got the utilities and their motion sensitive lights. It's fantastic. Um, so here you've got a gas, um, a gas boiler, um, lots of, look at the plumbing. Look at the plumbing. There's radiant heat and hot water and, uh, and, and things going everywhere. Okay. Okay, lots of electrical going around. Um, you've got a, uh, that looks like a really um, unique sink. That's, that's pretty impressive. I, you don't see too many of those. Um, and then over here, you also have a radon mitigation system. See how you've got, I don't know whether you, whether anyone's ever explained this to you sorry I'm just trying to move something out of the way but you can tell that this mitigation system is on because see how these two levels are different that shows you that there is a low voltage fan pulling the air up now if I take this out see how taking that out it's made the levels the same and that's showing when you put that back in that's showing that it's actually working. So you can just look at that and sort of say, oh yeah, that's working, that's good. Um, and there's all about differential air pressures and things like this, so I won't try and explain it because I'm gonna do a terrible job explaining it. And again, you've got another storage area here. All right, so let me go and show you the upstairs wing, bedroom wing. Okay, so as you see, we're coming up here. There's the half bath that we were. There's the kitchen area. There's the informal dining. And remember that way over there is to the master suite over the garage. You've got your dining room here and your entry foyer there. And now I'm heading upstairs in the bedroom wing okay so oh I, I misspoke all of the bedrooms but one have got an attached bathroom but this one has a bathroom all to itself so it's almost the same thing um in here you've got storage oh I think that's locked um, you've got storage under the eaves. You've also got um, window storage there. We've got built-in bookcase here. And, and you've got artist supply there. And you can look to see what's out there. And around 
end here. Now, the bathroom for this bedroom is this one. It's got a beautiful marble um, vanity here, really lovely tiles, a nice uh, towel warmer, and you've got a shower with ceramic tile walls and the similar, similar colouring um, ceramic, ceramic floors. And now, look at how tall the ceilings are. They are way up there. Now, I think this bedroom area is amazing. To me, and I'll explain why I'm saying this, this is it's a bedroom suite. There's the, the outer door there into the hallway. This, I could imagine this being um, an office or homework room or something like that for the kids or the, the one whose bedroom it is. Um, sorry, I'm just going to close that. Um, but you've got shelving there. This is, this is a great space for that. You know, having um, a, a sleepover. This could be where one of the, the kids is sleeping in there and still in the same area as the other kid here. And this is a bedroom. You can see the uh, where the extension went on because you can see how you've got that discoloration there. That's where the old part of the, um, uh, I believe, I've seen this before. That's where the old part of it was. Don't, don't know. Um, but when you see that, it sort of shows you um, the roof line that was there before. And look, that's the window that I was telling you about before. And look at this. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long, Marcus. But there's so much to this house. But look at this. Look at how much light is in here. That's a floor to ceiling. Actually, it just goes a little bit below the floor up to this, uh, this central cathedral ceiling there with a skylight and another window there and you've got another closet there there's so much space with this home it's amazing and now we're into the bathroom that's for this bedroom and there's got some ceramic or porcelain tiles you've got a, a white solid surface um, vanity um, got some lots of space vanity cabinet there and you've got a nice tub and a little nook for your towels and some really interesting um, um, roof angles okay let's head see how I mean here you've got a bedroom there this could just as easily be a home office or a um, you know, homework room, hangout room for the kids, or uh, a sleepover room. And through here, you've got a linen closet there, and you've got another laundry here. So you've got two laundries, both easy proximity to where you want them, and Going back over, this is over the um, this is over the kitchen, yeah, the kitchen and family room area. So let me do this bedroom first. Sorry, I was just trying to think where I was in the house. Um, you've got hot water radiator. You've got built-in um, shelving, uh, um, built-in drawers there. Again, lots of space for a desk and. You've got a nice closet there and in here you've got the bathroom for this bedroom some nice some bright tiles and a nice again a white vanity with um, solid surface counter and a tub shower and look you've got views of the backyard here that's just that's just amazing so much space and it's so quiet um okay now 
let's head this way and I want to show you this bedroom this bedroom lots of ceiling um, architectural features the the massive extension was designed by an architect I would need to find out who it was but did an amazing job um, and you've got some roof line there and let's see oh you've got these drawers I'm not sure that I can open them <gasps> no you see I can't do that I shouldn't have tried doing that with one with this hand holding the uh, the uh, camera I'll come back and fix that and here we've got another closet there and let's go here and we have another bathroom again attached to this bedroom you've got some beautiful tiles floor tiles you've got a white solid surface vanity and lots of uh, lots of it's just fresh and clean and you've got a nice shower there um now let me see what haven't I shown you I think I've probably shown you everything now I might take you back to the kitchen and I will get busy coming and turning off all the lights while Marcus shows you where you can get more information. And uh, I'm going to be turning off lights for a while. So I might just get um, Marcus to show you where you can get more information and also follow up with um, follow up with filling you in on my contact details. Um, if you don't have an agent, um, then let me know or hit schedule a showing on the website and we'll get one of our team to bring you in. If you've got an agent, it's so easy to show. So just make an appointment and come and see this home for yourself. It's, it's just amazing. So Marcus, can you um, show where you can get more information and also give my contact details at the end of it and I'll see you all later. I've got to get busy and go and turn off some lights. Okay, bye. Thanks. Thanks for that, Danny. So um, there you have it, 17 Colony Road. Now, what I know I do at this point is show you the website and because there's a lot of useful information there. Clearly, it's not as good as watching it going physically going to the home, but there's a lot of useful information. So let me talk you through the website and I'll show you what kind of information we have on that. So here we are, 17colony.com. So 17colony.com, nice and simple. We put all of the information you could possibly need, including this virtual open house after the fact, um, on the website. So um, here it is, uh, as you can see, here's the details, the address and the details of the home. Um, more details here, five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, as Danny showed you. Um, there's some more information on the home. And then what we do is we do a combination of narrative and photographs um, so here you are here's the main entrance coming into the home there we go kind of walking you through as we anticipate you would walk through that home um, carrying on then through to the family room and dining room and then kitchen so you know as if you were walking into the home the kind of the route that we anticipate you would take as you're walking through the home Combinations of narrative and photographs, as I said, more than one photograph. It's not just a single. You can kind of page through them and you get to see all the photographs. So that's the first part of the website. Lots of information and then combination of narrative and photographs. There's the outside. Clearly not like it was today, um, given that it's, you know, it was, uh, was uh, before, the, uh, before the snow came. Um, and there you can carry on down through all of those photographs, master bedroom, and then through the other bedrooms and so on, into the basement finally. So as you can see, yes, not uh, 12, 14 inches of snow uh, when this uh, photograph was originally taken. So carrying on down, um, highlights of the home, and then what we have is a 3D tour of the home. So everything we do, the video, the website, it's all really where the director of, of the show, if you like. And so, but what the 3D tour lets you do is you to be the director, go in whatever direction you want to go in. 
So when it powers up, I'll put it in full screen mode so you can see it. There you go. So um, you can move around. You can look around. To, here's that kind of area in the, the kitchen with that area in front of the, the, the fire there. Here we go. You can kind of walk your way through. This is the way for, if you remember, go back to there. That's the main entrance to the house. Um, and the website's organized so that you kind of go into this area and so on. But that's the way we anticipate you would go through the home. And clearly you might wish to go, you know, some other way. But you can go all the way through the home. This takes you through to the dining room. There it is there and so on. Um, you can also go upstairs, uh, downstairs too. There's the access to the basement there. Um, and then around the corner here is access to the second floor. Let me cheat and scoot up to the second floor. There we go. And here you are on the second floor. So you can go wherever you want within the home um, using this tool. Whenever you want, for as long as you want. That's the whole idea of this, is that it really does allow you to go through the home which any, any, whenever you want. Given that you might have a, you know, a limited amount of time to be able to go through the home uh, during uh, your private showings and so on. This allows you to, after the fact, go back and answer that question, you know, where was the closet on the third floor and, and so on, all of those kind of questions. Um, it also has a floor plan. Um, here is the second floor. This one doesn't have a third, sorry about that. Three levels, two floors, this is the second floor. Here's the, the main bedroom level and here is the master bedroom suite going through that area on the first floor. So this is the floor plan, not the uh, usual schematic floor plan that you see. We have one of those too. Um, uh, that's on the website. I'll show you that in a moment. But this gives you perspective with furniture in the home. So that's the floor plan. Um, the, you can scoop between floors as well. Let's go to the basement. Wow, there's the basement area. You can see the extent of that basement. This is the utility area um, where Danny went in. Um, and this is the kind of the finished area in the basement. One other thing that uh, you know, the, this tool allows you to do is, if I kind of scoot back here, is take a look at it in, in a dollhouse view. Danny really likes this view. Um, and you can see here, for example, is the garage uh, underneath that master suite. Um, you can see the extent of you know, what's above what is the entranceway you know, through that area there. It gives you a, a different kind of 3D perspective of the home um, to give you a sense of what's over what, if you like, or what's below what. So that's the 3D tour view. Kind of interesting for this house as it is a, you know, an interesting home. You can see the basement doesn't extend all the way under the, the main living area. And there you can see the garage space underneath the master suite there. So it gives you a kind of different perspective um, of the home, you know, um, than you would ordinarily get. So that is the 3D tour. That's there. So say we find this a very useful tool. You know, perhaps you want to show somebody who's not in the area, friends, parents, or whoever it may be. This is a uh, you know great tool. You can walk through the home while they're walking virtually. That is walking through the home. Um, we have a video of the home, um, which you can see here. Again. You're very much the, uh, you know, we're the director of this and you can see the way that, that we chose to go through the home. But it gives you that kind of different perspective on the home. Um, as well as that, here is the property brochure. Um, you can page through that. You can download, print it if you want to as well from here. Um, you can see that property brochure. There's the, the information about the home. There's the schematic floor plan. Those four areas. This is the master bedroom suite photographs of the home just to kind of reacquaint you with the different areas of the home and then information about what's happening with the Lexington market as well as that um, a map or showing the home in relation to in this case Lexington town centre as well as the school systems and then on the back um, 17colony.com just to explain you know to tell you where the um, website is again and so on so there's that floor plan um, that I talked about um, it, the one that you saw in the uh, schematic one, the one you saw in the in the property brochure, um, and then a couple of maps that show the house in relation to the schools, and the house in relation to public transport. 
perhaps not as important today as it was you know, 12, 18 months ago, but we'll get back there. So it gives you a sense of how close the, uh, the home is to public transport. So that's the website, 17colony.com. Feel free to check it out. The 3D tour, especially useful. Um, so um, with that, Danny, say busy turning off the lights, so I won't go back to Danny. Uh, now, but what I will do is I will leave you with Danny's contact details. So if you have any questions about the home or you want to uh, uh, request a private showing and so on, you don't have an agent, you, you need an agent, we can get an agent from our, our team to uh, show you the home. So all of that information here, let me kind of put that up now. So say if you have any questions about the home, please reach out to Danny and she can answer those for you. So with that, um, thank you for watching this virtual open house and I'll say uh, thank you and goodbye from me and Danny who's turning off the lights. Thank you. Goodbye from Danny. Bye.